President? Yes. Uh, how you doing, Oliver? Fine. How are you Sorry doing? Sorry I couldn't get you later early. Oh, don't worry about that. I got you a note on India, Pakistan, and what I'm going to try to do is I'm trying to get to every guy that works on the payroll of the United States government, I think, except you, is trying to get us to hurry up and give a lot of money to both of them. And, don't do that. Uh, and I'm trying uh, to consider it and discuss it, and I'm glad to have your views, and I think they're pretty much in line with what position I've taken and what I'm doing and, and so on and so forth. But they've got the New York Times and the Washington Post and all these uh, fuzzy liberals that are just raising hell to give some more money away right quick. And, uh, a great mistake. I, I'm not going to extend it more than 30 days, and I don't think I'll even do that. I'm going to wait and see what they do. Uh, I told them uh, we have been begging and pleading and crying and urging those people out there to take steps to ultimately someday be able to feed themselves. And we've said now we're willing to feed you for a while. Yeah. But uh, uh, they want to take their money and put in megs, or they want to take their money and put in steel mills. And they promise us they'll do it, and they never do a damn thing about it. It's just like these Latin American nations. You might as well tell those 14 of them. Yeah. The act of Bogota, and Milton Eisenhower, who was a wild la ra radical with his Republican colleagues, but he, the act of Bogota, he was going to have land reform, and he was going to have tax reform, and he was going to have all this stuff. And uh, they started out, and we came along and kind of stole it and called, changed its name, called it the Alliance for Progress. So then we talked to a bunch of do-gooders about how they had to change land reform and tax reform and Dick Goodwin and uh, Arthur Schlesinger and Muscoso and uh, a few dreamers. Uh, about six of them had balls in the air going opposite directions. And these Latins uh, got together and about 10 or 12 of them passed uh, land reform and passed tax reform and then proceeded to do not one damn thing about it. Mm -hmm. The generals wouldn't put it into effect or they wouldn't let the payoff boys that hang around the Mexico City capital and things like that, they have not put into effect one single land reform or one single tax reform. So anything we do will not help their assistance. So we pour in 600 million and it winds up the same place. Yeah. Now we got 600 million more this year. Now I want to put it in. I'm ready to put it in. I'm anxious to put it in. But I'd be damned if I'm going to have it said of me that I was just a numbskull here for four years and pissed off this money and got nothing in return because my mama didn't raise me that way. Well, I am uh, the president I have taught at the present moment. I have talked to more Indian and Pakistan leaders than any man in your administration. Well, I think that's right. I spend at least two hours uh -huh. every day. Well, you get my statement yeah. when I signed the foreign aid bill. I wrote that in the hospital myself. Yeah. It wasn't one drafted by these experts down yeah. there. And I said to them, I'm going to help the people help themselves, and if they're not willing to help themselves, uh, screw them. Yes, well, well, you just tell India and Pakistan, too, that we've got this thing at the United Nations. We don't want to use any power, any leisure, any pressure, anybody else. But we're not going to take American taxpayer dollars and have them fighting each other. That's a very simple premise, and I'm a thousand percent for it. That's what you said. So I want to tell you, okay, I told Russ that this morning. Now, right. number two, just tell these Latin Americans, every damn one you see every day, that you talk to the president every day, that he wants to make the roses bloom. He wants every child to be free of disease and to be educated and to have a good job and live in a fine home. But his hopes has got to be a two-way street. You right. can't just marry a woman and let her run off and stay drunk all the time. She's got to come home and help, too. Now, if they're not going to do their land reform and they're not going to do their tax reform, they're going to continue to talk about it like they have ever since 58, since 58.